the next three uh, questions, 16 through 18, as I just mentioned, uh, we'll be using the information given right here. Uh, we have two aqueous solutions. Okay, we are going to first determine what the products are. Okay, so in order to do that, you have to pair the tight ion of the first compound with the ion of the second compound, which means we need to put FrPO4. And we have to balance the charges so that the entire compound is neutral. So from this equation, from this compound right here, so that's SR, two chlorides, all right? So uh, because you have two chlorine here, and each chlorine actually is a chloride, carries negative one, therefore SR should carry positive two, okay? So that one should have positive two. And the phosphate is always negative three. So therefore, in order to balance, we need to have three SR and two sulfate, all right? Two times negative three, that's negative six. Then three times positive two, that's positive six. Positive six, negative six, this entire compound should be neutral, okay? So, and next, the cation of the second compound pairing with the ion of the first compound. So that will be lithium chloride. Lithium always carries positive one, chloride always carries negative one, all right? So now we have to balance this equation. So it's not balanced. Okay, we have three uh, SR here. I will just have to put three there. That gives me six chloride, and I will put that here. And that gives me six lithium. We already have three. I will put a two right here. And now let's take a look. So SR, total three on the left, total three on the right. Chloride, two times three, six, six on both sides. And lithium, two times three, six, lithium, six. Then phosphate, two phosphates, and now two phosphates. Perfect. So that is balance, okay? So therefore, in order to answer question, 16, okay, what two products are predicted in this uh, precipitation reaction? Obviously, this is the precipitate and this in aqueous solution, which means this actually stays in solution in uh, ions form, okay? But this one's called the molecular equation, so therefore I wrote them together. Okay, so therefore we just find the ones, okay, we, okay, which one should that be? That should be C, all right? C is the answer for question 16. And now let's look at question 17, all right? Okay, you can see question 17. Let me see. Okay, yeah. Question 17. So, what spectator ions are present? in this precipitation reaction. In order to find all the spectator ions, we need to write the total ionic equation, okay? So we start with the first react time, okay? Since it's aqueous solution, we know it has to be SR2 plus, then I take the coefficient right there, that's three. And then chloride, negative one, two times three, that's six, plus lithium, always positive one, we have three times two, that's six, and then 
we have false faith. Always negative three, and we have two of false faith. That's on the back hand side as a reactor. On the right hand side, we can't break this precipitate into ions. Why? Because it's a solid. It stays in solution as a solid, as a precipitate. Then we have six lithium ion. Six chloride ion. Can you see chloride? Okay, cool. So now, what are the spectator ions? Spectator ions are the ones that appear on both sides. So let's see SR2 plus. On the left hand side, stay as a free ion. On the right hand side, no, then we cannot do anything with that. Chloride, six chloride on the left hand side, six on the right hand side, cancel that. That's one of the spectator ions, okay? So you can try to, you know, identify here which one can be possible, okay? So now keep going. Six lithium on the left-hand side, six lithium on the right-hand side. And then phosphate, two on the left-hand side, two on the right-hand side right here, but not a separate ion. So therefore, we have two spectator ions, lithium and chloride. Let's see, lithium and chloride, this should be the correct answer, D, all right? And now, let's look at number 18. We all use the same material, all right? So number 18 right here, what is the correct Net ionic equation. This is the total ionic equation. Net ionic equation NIC is after you cancel the spectator ions, whatever left, you just write that down. We have three plus two forming. That's it because the others are all gone, chloride and lithium, all right? So therefore, whichever matches, those choices matches what is given here, that should be the correct answer, okay? So I believe it should be the first one, all right? 